हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व सम न्यूमेरिकल्स बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ गेज रेजिस्टेंस सो आई एम हियर विद द सेकंड न्यूमेरिकल रिलेटेड टू स्ट्रेन गेज एंड दिस न्यूमेरिकल इज बेस्ड ऑन कैलकुलेशन ऑफ गेज रेजिस्टेंस इन दिस पर्टिकुलर न्यूमेरिकल you have to calculate a percentage change in gauge resistance so let us read the question a strain gauge with gauge factor 2 bonded to steel structure which is subjected to tensile stress of 100 mega newton per meter square young's modulus is 200 giga newton per meter square find the percentage change in gauge resistance due to applied stress so your strain gauge is attached to a steel structure and that steel structure is subjected to tensile stress of 100 mega newton per meter square now you have to calculate change percentage change in gauge resistance due to that stress due to the stress of 100 mega newton per meter square so what are the quantities which are given Stress is equal to 100 mega newton per meter square. Young's modulus is given as 200 giga newton per meter square. Gauge factor is equal to 2. We know the formula of gauge factor. Gauge factor is equal to delta R by R divided by delta L by L and delta L by L is equal to epsilon. Delta L by L is nothing but strain. So If somehow you manage to calculate this value delta L by L or somehow you can calculate epsilon, then then you can calculate delta R by R. So if you can calculate delta R by R, then multiply delta R by R with hundred, then this will be your answer because you have to calculate percentage change in gauge rest, right? So basically you, you have to only calculate delta r by r in this question gauge factor is already known gauge factor is given as 2 right so there is another formula to calculate strain strain is equal to epsilon is equal to stress divided by young's modulus stress divided by young's modulus in this formula you have to remember in this formula you have to remember in every question if you have given stress and young's modulus then strain can be calculated from this formula strain is equal to stress divided by young's modulus strain is equal to stress divided by young's modulus so stress is given as 100 mega newton 100 mega newton per meter square mega means 10 to the power 6 Newton per meter square divided by divided by Young's modulus that is 200 giga Newton per meter square. So it will be 200 into 10 to the power 9. 200 into 10 to the power 9 Newton per meter square. Mega means 10 to the power 6. Giga means 10 to the power 9. Okay. From here, epsilon can be calculated as 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3. 1 by 2 into 10 to the power minus 3, or this is equal to 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So if epsilon is known, means you have the value of delta L by L as 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. 10 to the power minus 3, right? So now apply this formula, this factor. Is equal to delta R by R divided by delta L by L. Delta L by L. Gauge factor is given as two. Is equal to delta R by R. Is what you need to calculate. And delta L by L you just calculated. It is 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. 0.5 into 10 to the power minus 3. So from here. Delta R by R will be equal to two into point five into ten to the power minus three. So it will be one into ten to the power minus one into ten to the power minus three. That is your change in resistance. 
Now you have to calculate percentage change in resistance. So just multiply this quantity with 100. So delta R by R into 100 will be equal to 10 to the power minus 3 into 100. So your value will be 10 to the power minus 3 into 10 to the power 2. So it will be 10 to the power minus 1. And this is 0.1%. This is 0.1% and this value is your this value is your answer. Right? So your answer in this question is 0.1%. Thank you.